Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day nine of the April Lico Daily Challenge, right? Yeah. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me in Discord. Let me know what you think about today's part. So, yeah, so my new video on the other channel is going to drop today. So, uh, or drop, probably if you're watching it right now, I should press the button. So, definitely uh, check out the comments or the description. I have a link for everyone. Let me also get feedback on the, the, those videos because I'm it, the, the last video uh, or the current video, the new video is about what I do when I find a problem that I can't solve. And sometimes you see this when I'm on the contest or something, but, um, but yeah, hopefully that is helpful. And hopefully, and if nothing else, I actually shot it uh, walking around New York. Um, so hopefully it is beautiful, even if it is, even if you don't find it that useful, hopefully it is beautiful. I thought it was beautiful. Uh, like the, the weather was very nice. Anyway, let's take a look at today's farm. Twenty seventy three. Time needed to buy tickets. There and people in a line queuing to buy tickets. Why not a queue lining up to buy? I don't know. <laughs> Where the zero person is at the front of the line and n minus one person is in the back of the queue line. I keep wanting to say queue. You're given zero index away. Tickets of length n. Where the number of tickets I would like to buy is tickets to buy. Each person takes l exactly one second to buy a ticket a person can buy one ticket at a time and go to the back of the line and then just keep going okay what's k oh 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 huh i feel like i mean yeah okay like the naive version we can simulate it we don't have to you know i i feel like i've i've seen a similar problem but not in um not not for force not like in a n is equal to 100 like n is something big maybe on code force or something uh, but um hmm. how would i think about this right i mean okay like i said there, there is the the straightforward solution i'm just simulating it there's 100 each of them only has 100 tickets so even if you loop for everybody, it's just a hundred times a hundred, and yeah, and that would be you know ten thousand, and that's fast enough. I'm trying to think whether you could do it in a linear time, just one O of n loop, through the through the um through the array, put the tickets away. I feel like yes, right. Because basically, okay, let's just say uh yeah. Right, and is equal to length of tickets. Maybe I'm off here, but I'm just playing around with some stuff. Um, this this answer I'm not quite sure yet. And to be honest, for, probably I should write play, play around with smallest examples on on piece of paper and like just visualize it, right? But sometimes I like also to visualize by coding up small things and see how it interacts. It's not quite, you know, depending on on how you visualize problems and stuff like this, it's not quite hundred percent. But I like to do it sometimes, especially since I don't know, I'm, I'm just lazier to write stuff out sometimes on certain things, and uh, and you know, having the code give me feedback and print things out is also another way to visualize for me. Right? So okay. So then now for i in range of n, right? We want to loop. We have tickets sub k is what we care about. We have two diff different things, right? So let's just say time is equal to zero right um yeah and maybe just take it sub k because we need oops we need that much time anyway right and then now if if i is less than k right then what happens then that means that um we we waste time waiting in for the person in front of us at least tickets of i time or tickets of k time right min of these because if we need more tickets then th this this person is already gone so we take that time if we need fewer tickets like we need three tickets and the person in front of us needs six six tickets then then we would ha wait for them four times right not wait no 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 no, just three times, right? Yeah, one, two, three, and then we go. Yeah, yeah. So then we could do this, right? So that's that's the thing. And then this is already i is zero to k, so then we skip it. And then else if i is greater than k, uh, then what, right? Then now, 
if it's behind us, um, if, if it's something like this, but it's like minus one or something, or something, right? Because basically, okay, ticket sub i, what does that mean? That means that they're a number of tickets, but if they're behind us, then they either buy all their tickets or the number of tickets that we buy minus one because that's the time we spend waiting for them. Right? Yeah, yeah. And that's it, right? Hmm. Let's give it a submit. Maybe it's a little bit YOLO and it's very prone to error because I'm, I don't look at these examples. I don't trust it that much, but uh, okay. 1470 day streak. Um, yeah. Uh, what did I do last time? I guess last time. Hmm. Last time I did the same, I guess. Hmm. So maybe I, I don't know. I thought I was being clever because I am curious why I did it that way though, but uh, yeah, well, I guess it doesn't matter. Because because n times tickets of I for a easy problem. I guess that was not during contest. Because during a contest, I definitely would not write the way that I wrote it now. Because a hundred times a hundred should be pretty straightforward, right? Uh, and th there's no error. There's no like off by one error, which is potential here or anything like that. It is just like it is a hundred percent guaranteed to be correct. I, I mean, I could have typos, but in terms of just logical errors on edge cases and stuff like that. So yeah, um, hmm. But yeah, this is gonna be linear time, constant space. That's pretty much it. I mean, I think the thought, I hopefully the thought process makes sense. Uh, this is to say, if, if the person is in front of you, I mean, okay, this is just, you need to, that much time to buy the ticket. For the person in front of you, either we we wait for them to buy all the tickets, so they have fewer tickets, or if they have more, then we, we, we don't care because we're gone after this, right? So yeah. And the same logic here is that if they're behind us, then either we wait for them to buy all their tickets or, you know, we don't wait for them after we buy, we just tickets minus one. So, hmm. all right, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. And yeah, thanks for watching. Stay good, stay healthy to your mental health. I'll see y'all later. Take care, bye-bye.